But Julia is going to talk a little bit about a specific case study um, shown in this slide. Yeah, so Jeff alluded to this in the beginning, but we wanted to highlight um, something that we thought would be relevant to this audience and demonstrate some of the downstream effects of PFAS to our natural resources. So uh, I wanted to talk about a case in Clovis, New Mexico, and you can see that the town of Clovis is proximal to Cannon Air Force Base in this map. And PFAS were discovered in groundwater surrounding this and another base, and the state was informed in 2018. Um, and the Air Force has been providing bottled drinking water to those affected, but something that kind of made the news and the highlights that you might have seen um, were how dairy farmers were affected. And there were some headlines about dairy farmers dumping thousands of gallons of milk per day and being unable to sell livestock and other products because they're contaminated with PFAS as a result of PFAS entering uh, groundwater near this Air Force base. Um, and so, with that as a backdrop, I think this kind of frames the problem that if PFAS enters water, it can really affect a variety of natural resources and people, um, and it's challenging to get rid of once it's in there. 